Okay, this starts section uh, 1.1, and 1.1 deals with exponents and order of operation. The first couple of problems in section 1.1 deals with the basic notation for uh, exponential. So this right here, 3 raised to the fourth power is called exponential notation. The three represents the base and the four represents the exponent. This is the exponential notation. If I wanted to write this in expanded form, remember exponentials are just repeated multiplication. So if I wanted to write this in expanded form, it would be 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. And this is the expanded form. To evaluate this, I would multiply all these numbers together. So 3 times 3 is 9, and 3 times 3 is 9. So 9 times 9, you get 81 when you multiply all the numbers together. And notice how I did the shortcut there. I did not 3 times 3 which gives me 9, and then I did the other 3 times 3, which gives me 9, and then I multiplied the two nines together, and that's how I got 81. This is called the evaluated part. So the first couple of problems, they may give you something like this. 6 times 6 times 5 times 5 times 5. And the directions will say write this in exponential notation. So you don't want to multiply all these numbers together because that's how you evaluate. You're trying to write it in exponential notation like you see right here. So this would be 6 to the second power because you see the 6 twice times and then the 5 to the third power because you see the 5 three times and this would be the exponential notation. So the first couple of problems look kind of like that. And then after you write the problems in exponential notation, they actually want you to evaluate for the next problem. So the 2 to the 7th power, that means you have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Do I have enough? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 twos. So this is the expanded form, but the directions actually want you to evaluate. So I'm going to multiply, I'm just going to try to do this shorthand. So let's multiply the first twos together. That gives me 4. And then if I multiply the next set of twos, that gives me 4 as well. And then the next set of twos, I get 4. And then I have an extra 2 down here. So now let me multiply these numbers together. So this gives me 4 times 4, that's 16, and 4 times 2, that gives me 8. So now I need to multiply 16 times 8. And 16 times 8, if you wrote this in a vertical form like this, this gives you 80 or 48. And I carry the 4 up, and that gives me 12. So the answer to this will be 128. 2 to the 7th power is 128. And this actually brings me to a point for sections, uh, for actually chapter 1 through chapter 5 is all going to be without a calculator. So I know this is an online class, but remember when you take your exams in the testing center, you are not allowed to use calculators in there. So when you're doing your homework at home, you may want to practice doing these problems without a calculator. Because if you're doing all your homework at home with the calculator and then you get to the test, it's going to be kind of different than what you've been practicing. So make sure you be kind of honest with yourself um, when you're working at home 
and try to do as much as you can without a calculator. Now lastly to finish this section I want to talk about order of operation. Now order of operation you know you've heard this saying please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. We've heard that before. Um, I kind of like the saying, I kind of don't, but it, it helps people remember uh, what to do in order of operation. So the first thing you want to look at is the parentheses or grouping, simple, uh, grouping symbols, parentheses, the P stands for parentheses, and in, in uh, quotation marks I put grouping symbols. So if you see parentheses, you want to do the operation that's inside of your parentheses first. So while I'm doing that, I'll actually put an example down here at the bottom for us to work. Okay, so parentheses, you notice you have parentheses right here. So I'm going to do the operation inside the parentheses. That's going to be 10 minus 8. Everything else that I didn't underline, I'm just going to bring it down. Oh, wrote the wrong number here. This is 2. 2 to the third power plus 5 to the second. So um, 10 minus 8 was 2, so I brought 2 down. Everything else that I did not underline, I just brought um, that down as it was. The next step in order of operation is exponents. So at this point, if you have any exponents, you try to get rid of them. So I'm going to underline each one of my exponents. And I'm going to write what's the evaluated form for each one of my exponents. I have 5 to the second. That's 25. The 2 was not underlined, so I bring it down. I have 2 to the third power. 2 to the third power is 2 times 2 times 2, which is going to give you 8. Bring down the plus sign, and then 2 to the second power is 25. Okay, and all these are equal to each other, so I bring down the equal sign as well. Next in my order of operation, I have multiplication and division. So multiply and divide. So I put these two together like this because if you ever have a problem where you have multiplication and division at the same time, you always want to go from left to right when you're working those problems. So in this case, the example that I'm doing, we have only multiplication. So let's go ahead and multiply 25 times 2, which is going to give you 50. And there's no division, so you don't have to worry about that. Next on our list is addition and subtraction. And they are the same way as multiplication and division. If you see them at the same time, go from left to right. So in the problem that I have, the example that we are doing here, we only have addition. So I'm going to do 50 plus 8 first. And then I do 50 plus 25. And I'm going to line this up vertically so I can add up my columns. Checking my math here. Okay, 83. So this is going to be 83 is our final answer. Okay. Okay. So I want to do one more example before I... Um, in this video or PDF, I'm going to work this problem that actually has brackets in it as well. And I actually have a typo in here. This should be a 4 instead of a 3. So I'm going to put a 4 right there. Okay. 
So order of operations says we should do parentheses first. You notice you have parentheses and you have brackets. You always want to do the innermost parentheses first. So I'm going to do the 6 minus 4 first. Everything else I just bring down. If I didn't underline it, I just bring it straight down. So the only operation I'm doing is the 6 minus 4. Now, inside of my brackets, I do order of operation inside my brackets as well. So I'm still at the first step of parentheses because I still have grouping symbols here. So I want to handle what's inside the brackets now. And I follow order of operation inside the brackets. So I need to do the exponents. Everything else I bring down. So this is going to be 9 plus 2 minus 4. I still have my grouping symbol there. So that step, I'm still at the step of grouping symbols. So inside the brackets, I have addition and I have subtraction. Just go from left to right. This is 11 minus 4. And then I do the subtraction. Uh, 11 minus 4, that's going to be 7 everything else I bring down. So I've gotten rid of my grouping symbols. Both sets, the parentheses and the brackets are gone. Now I need to do exponents. There are no exponents available in this problem. So I go straight to multiplication and division. I have division and I have multiplication. So I want to do the division first because I'm going from left to right. So that's going to give me 5, 35 divided by 7. And then I'm going to do the multiplication. And that's going to give me 30. The last step I have to do is the adding, and then that's going to give me 35. So your answer for this problem is 35. I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, just feel free to email me.